I'll bet everyone's heard Brahms Hungarian dances number five. It goes. Everyone knows it. We were always intrigued why uh, Brahms, who's a German middle class composer, should release um, basically a load of pieces of written music which he called Hungarian dances. So we looked into it in a little more detail. And we found out that uh, it was because he was um, playing music in his early days, in his 20s, with a friend of his, who was called Eddie Hoffman, who played a violin. And he came from um, a part of Hungary, right in the corner of the Carpathian Mountains, where about four or five Eastern European countries meet. And he taught him lots of tunes that he knew. And um, they met because he was, this Eddie Hoffman was actually a refugee from a war that was in there, and so he left went to Germany to seek better things, met up with Brahms, played around for a little bit, then went off to have a big international career, part of which involved playing um, at the court of Queen Victoria. But many years later, when they weren't friends anymore, Brahms um, got these old compositions and called them Hungarian dances. Um, Remy Engie tried to sue him in those days because he thought he nicked his tunes, but it didn't work. And so we are left with this Brahms Hungarian dances. So we thought we'd have a bit of a tribute to uh, Edward Hoffman, who later changed his name to Eddie Remienyi. And we um, put some lyrics to it, really. And the lyrics are basically about every refugee's uh, feelings, I think. Uh, the lyrics go basically, um, I'm not a bad man, I'm not a criminal, I'm not a troublemaker, I'm not a drunkard. I just stand up for brothers and sisters, I stand up for what's right, um, and I find myself here. And in the chorus we sing, uh, well, this is why I came here, to be in a land where I can be free. I don't want people to cry for me, I'm going to live my life as a refugee. And I think that would be a nice tribute to him, because he seems to have been ignored by the rest of the world as Eddie Hoffman.